The next generation of gaming is here with the release of the PlayStation 4, and <laughs> I can't wait to get my hands on it. But before we go on and talk about the next gen, let's stop for a second and talk about the past gen with the PlayStation 3. PS3 had a rocky start with a variety of mediocre to bad games and a rather large price tag. After years of its existence, the price went down to a more reasonable price and some of the greatest games ever created were released on the system. So that's why I'm creating this list of my top 5 favorite PS3 exclusives of all time. Only one game per franchise like usual on this list. So let's get into it with my number 5 favorite game for the PlayStation 3. Number 5 God of War 3 God of War 1 and 2 were two of my favorite video games ever on PS2, and God of War 3 promised to end the trilogy on a satisfying and epic conclusion. And guess what? This game succeeded perfectly. It is an epic, epic game. It's just incredible. The boss battles are some of the biggest in scope I've ever seen and it is so satisfying when you finish them off. It is gory, it is bloody, it is awesome. Also the story itself ends the trilogy in terrific fashion. God of War 3 is also one of the best looking games on PS3. The environments, the character models, the action itself was very fluid. It was an amazing looking game and it's been four years since it came out and it still looks astonishing. This game looks incredible it really does and just like every other god of war game the game plays incredible too the gameplay is tight and still some of the best games has to offer god of war 3 shows us that trilogies can have perfect conclusions Kratos has become an icon in video gaming now, considering he has six games of his own and even appeared in a bunch of other games as well. So I cannot wait to see more God of War. I mean, God of War Ascension was a disappointment, but hey, you know what? God of War 4? Hey, come on, just bring it to me, baby. I want some more God of War action. Woo! So there you go. Number 5, God of War 3. Number 4. Heavy Rain. I know this game, along with Beyond and Indigo Prophecy, get a lot of hate. Me, on the other hand, I love this game and played it four times over to see every little thing it has to offer. Heavy Rain is pretty much an interactive movie about a father trying to get back his son from the dreaded origami killer. The game featured four main characters we would play as and many different choices that would change the outcome of the game. Now, the choices we made weren't as expansive as we would have wanted, but it was expansive enough for me to play it four times over and still have plenty of different things happen. The story is very interesting, and the characters are believable and really likable. Actually, I fell in love with all the characters and their different personalities by the end of the first playthrough. I couldn't stop playing this game when it first came out, and that's why it's my number 4 game. It's the first PS3 game I played that I automatically started over when I finished. So you can say whatever you want about Indigo Prophecy and even Beyond Two Souls, but Heavy Rain is one of my favorite games of all time. Also, the graphics for 2010 looked amazing especially the character models, the facial animations, the way they emote, looks amazing, it really does. So overall, Heavy Rain, I love, it's my number four, and you know what? It's gonna stay like that, because I still love this game. I can play it whenever I want and still love it. So there you go, Heavy Rain is my number four, best PS3 exclusive of all time. Number three, Infamous 2. I didn't care much for the first Infamous game, but for some reason I got really into the second one. The story was phenomenal and featured really distinct characters that are very memorable and likable. Also the gameplay makes you feel like a superhero. Grinding on telephone wires, shooting out electric blasts, and even running and jumping from building to building all looked and felt fantastic. Being able to upgrade your character and make him more badass, progression, that's what I love in a superhero game, progression. I feel like I'm getting better and better as a superhero. But, but while the gameplay was great and the graphics were fantastic, the story is what kept me playing the game for hours and hours. And when I finished it, I will admit, I teared up a bit, I did. 
Infamous 2 surpassed the first game in my eyes and became one of the best games you can play on the PS3. I highly recommend this game to anyone with a pulse, so go get it now, it's pretty cheap, and play it before the new one comes out because most likely it will have references to this game and even the past one, so go play, you know, go play both of them, who cares, but definitely play this one. Infamous 2 is my number 3 best game on PS3. Number 2 Uncharted 2 Among Thieves The first Uncharted is a great adventure game that introduced us to the now iconic, lovable, smartass adventurer, Nathan Drake. And the second one brought along a few new characters, hilarious writing, fun multiplayer, and a smartly done and well-paced single-player campaign. The gunplay was improved and felt more satisfying when shooting goons. The platforming is still some of the best in any game out there. Very precise and I never had a problem with the controls. The story is eventful, filled with big epic moments. And yes, I know I say epic a lot, but really, that, that's the perfect word to explain this and God of War 3. Epic. And the game just looks downright beautiful. Naughty Dog knows how to make a game that looks gorgeous. If you have never played an Uncharted game, then now's the time to do it. Because the first, second, and third are all worth it. Hell, even the PS Vita version is worth it. They're all great. You know what, I bet even that card game that's on PS3 and PS Vita is worth it. So you know what, play all of them. Play everything that says Uncharted on it. You especially have to play those games now, seeing that Naughty Dog has just announced they are doing a brand new one for the PS4. Imagine how good a PS4 Uncharted will look. Damn. So that's my number 2, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And my favorite PlayStation 3 exclusive of all time is... The Last of Us. You saw that one coming. Let's get a move on. The Last of Us is a truly groundbreaking experience to me. One of the most brutal and effective stories in gaming of all time. And this comes from Naughty Dog, the developers of other disturbing and brutal games like Crash Bandicoot, Uncharted, and Jack and Daxter. Yeah, it's a slight departure from the kind of stuff they usually do, but that's a good thing. They tried something new, and it worked perfectly. The gameplay never gets tiring because the AI for the enemies is so good and the stealth and the gunplay are so unique feeling that you want to keep coming back to do better and better. The limited amount of supplies and ammo make you think twice on what you should and shouldn't use in a situation. The gameplay is fantastic, even though there are a couple moments in the game that did break the immersion for me. Anybody remember the unlimited ammo sniper rifle you use? Yeah, a little bit too much. Still, the story is the best on PS3, and the characters are relatable, very believable, and you want to follow them all the way to the end. Joel and Ellie's relationship is the highlight here. They don't trust each other at first, but then they start to build a bond that is very strong. So that is why The Last of Us is my favorite PS3 exclusive. The story is phenomenal, the graphics are truly incredible, and the gameplay is deep and rewarding. So there you go, there is my top 5 favorite PS3 PS3 exclusives and number one is The Last of Us. So there you go, there's my top five favorite PS3 exclusives of all time, with number one being The Last of Us. So there you go, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next generation of consoles. Thank you and goodbye. He tells me that on this journey, you either hang on to your morals and die, or do whatever it takes to survive. I guess I'll find out.